the under 70 kilo category for women coming up now. We've got two bronze medal matches to bring you. The first of these features, Maria Portela of Brazil. And she faces Sendayush Naranjago of Mongolia. It's Portela in the white jidogi, Sendayush in blue. Evarado Garcia of Mexi Mexico is in the middle for this one. I think this is going to be a difficult one for Portella. Sendayush is an exceptionally strong thrower. This is a good size for her in this weight category. Portella could come under some serious pressure here. Could have tried the Makikomi. Well, there won't be a score for Portella because there's no part of Sendayushi's body to give the score up on. She pulled her on top of her. So that's why that one won't score. Oh. Well, she must have come under, un underneath her. <laughs> Portella coming up with the counter. I thought for a moment that she'd pulled her on top of her body. But no, there was indeed enough room for Sendayush to squeeze through. It landed on part of her back. That's why there wasn't the, the yip on. So a good lead here for Maria Portella. There's plenty of time for Sendayush. As I said earlier on, she's a strong thrower. She's got to be brave again. She's brave enough to go in there. Unfortunately, she got caught. Well, unfortunately for her. Just wants to bring that left foot back in. Really, it's Sendayush who's guilty of stepping out here. And she picks up the penalty. Go back to doing what you do well. Big arm over the top. You need to control, or Sendayush will need to control that right arm. That's the problem there. The right arm was down on the mat, and that stopped her from going over. So... She'll need to control that. Portella starting to play around with the mat edge there, but she stepped off the Ojigari, so that should be okay. <laughs> she didn't step off it quick enough. Once that right arm goes on, she can't allow Portella to break it off. That's where the first part of her techniques, that's where she wants to de develop the first part of her technique. And we have to call Mate there. Third penalty with well over two minutes left to go. Could be problems for Patella if Tsendayush begins to put real pressure on. Not the way you want to win through penalties. But when you pick up four, <laughs> it comes into it.
Minute 46. Tall, leggy, healthy and strong. Sendayush, you should be able to put some pressure on Portella. She gets the right grip. That's it, that'll do. Well, it wasn't the first error that she'd committed. She'd committed a number of them. If Portella committed another error, then that's it. She was already on three. She ducked her head underneath. Yeah. There were four errors there. Well, she would much rather have done that by throwing her opponent. Portella, in the end, ended up giving her four shidos. Not the way that you really want to win it. Up next, then. Roxanne Tamens of Belgium. <laughs> 